everyone, I'm Ritama, your host and your dose for today, Workday Podcast. Today we have an amazing guest and an expert, Mr. Akhil Ashokan. So Akhil is a certified Workday consultant over eight years of experience leading Workday implementation and support engagements. He's currently working for Enterprise Market Desk as Workday Delivery Lead. And he has been worked with top organizations like Amazon, Deloitte, IBM, Accenture, and Kindle. So without any further ado, let's meet Akhil. Hi, Akhil. Hello, Ritama. Thank you for having me. How are you? Good morning. Good. Thank you for uh, coming to our show. Thank you so much. And good morning to you too. And uh, I'm wishing you a very happy new year. Uh, Happy Happy new year to you too. I forgot to wish you a happy new year. (laughs) (laughs) That's completely all right. So, Akhil, uh, the thing is, I, I just said a little, uh, introduced in a very short way. So, before we start with the question answering round, which I'm really excited about, can we uh, just straight away know that what is your entire background, professional background, where are you from, a little bit from your side? Yeah, so, like, uh, I'm Akhil Ashokan. I'm uh, based out of Hyderabad, so I stay in Hyderabad, and... Uh, like you said, I have uh, I have about eight years of experience uh, where I lead work the implementations and support engagements. And I've been uh, currently working with uh, Enterprise Market Desk, uh, which is a, a workday focused company uh, where I lead uh, projects uh, for our clients. Yeah, and I, I've worked at... Uh, uh, before before uh, this company, I have been working with uh, companies like Accenture, uh, Deloitte. Um, I've worked at Amazon, uh, Kindrill. So I worked there at uh, different positions, like uh, you know, lead. Uh, I had uh, been doing lead positions as a manager and all. Uh, so yeah, that, that's pretty much uh, my background. Uh, I have been in Workday since last, uh, been doing Workday since the last eight years. Uh, I have a lot of experience uh, with uh, different types of clients. So, yeah. That's fantastic. So it's lovely to know that you have come from a very rich background uh, of different different leading roles. So I've seen that most of the experts uh, or the consultants who are our, our guests, they have they don't have a particular job role they have done throughout their life. They have the multiple feathers in their hats. So let's jump into the question, please. Yeah, sure. Okay. So my first question goes like, is Workday Consulting a good career option for for everyone? <laughs> uh, yeah, so choosing Workday can be a, a rewarding career if you are genuinely interested in uh, HR and finance, uh, enjoy building technology solutions and thrive in a dynamic uh, consulting environment. Even, even beyond uh, Workday, <clears throat> ERP consulting in general is a lucrative uh, career option, especially as organizations grow, they, they require ERP systems to manage their resources, their com- to, to run their company. So uh, platforms like SAP, Workday, Oracle, you know, all these are uh, some of the leading uh, ERP systems in the market and, <clears throat> and moving and uh, selecting these as a, a career option as an ERP consulting consultant for uh, any of these platforms will be a very lucrative career. So I would say yes, choosing Workday as a career option is a, a very good. Uh, yeah. So, how do you get into Workday consulting? Um, if you could tell us about it to the audience a bit. Well, uh, I started my career as a workday consultant with Deloitte uh, back in uh, 2017. So at that time, uh, Deloitte was actively recruiting for workday due to uh, a substantial demand in the skill uh, for the skill, which, which even persists even today. So it has not stopped since 2017. There is a very high demand for workday consultants. So despite uh, having a prior experience in SAP, 
so i used i had some experience in sap uh, deloitte hired me as a consultant uh, for workday and provided me training and certification in workday and that's how i got uh, started as a workday consultant e even today some of the big four uh, companies continue to recruit uh, individuals without a background in workday but with experience in uh, other erp technologies like uh, sap or oracle and people soft so they they provide training and certification because a background in any erp system is a transferable skill and the people can uh, still uh, you know get trained and will be able to start uh, working as a workday consultant so that's that's how i got uh, a job as a workday consultant that's how i started wow so workday can be you know a cool like this if your person is not um completely trained on work they from the beginning and they have other uh, erp um, knowledge they can also pursue work just so this is a, one of the biggest lesson for the audience out there who's seeking to change their domain completely to yeah, something else that's right because uh, if you um I uh, quite recently I saw that uh, you know um Deloitte and Accenture both of them are they are they are looking for consultants who have an experience in other ERP technologies and uh, it, this was this is true even 7 years back uh, they they were hiring for the same because uh, The, the, there is a, a lot of opportunities out there but there are not enough consultants in the market that you can hire so if you do not have uh, existing talent you have to create talent the only way to create talent is you know uh, hire and train and deploy right right so if a person who has no background uh, over any erp system and and even they just got trained in work at the beginning just like someone who graduated from a college and she has done or he has done ba or msc or any, anything and they just thought that okay i'm going to get certified in work there and i like hr and accounting and finance so uh, can the person be uh, taken as a job prospect for for the companies mm. now or they would say yeah. yes uh, i would say yes there are several companies which are hiring uh freshers and getting them trained in work day like i said delight and accenture of course they are uh, <clears throat> they do hire uh, consultant straight out of college because when mm -hmm. i was working at accenture i had many many consultants uh, young graduates in my team who just went came straight out of college uh, got trained and certified and started working even uh, other companies um, uh, like uh, easy cloud uh, which is uh, led by damodar pai and uh, i8 i8 cloud uh sankalp um i think sankalp shrivastava uh they they do they they have been recently i saw that they are hiring uh freshers uh, from time to time um the company that i work for enterprise market desk we do also have plans uh to hire freshers in the near future so mm -hmm. i would say yes um even graduates uh, stand a chance uh, to get into work day uh, because and even even if i think like you know it's only not just about experience people we need fresh talent as well uh, right. the reason is uh, we also need a mixture of uh, ta uh, experience and fresh talent because uh, fresh people will always look at uh, with a, a different we get a different mixture of perspectives right so it's always i would say i would say it's always good to have a mixture of talent both experience and fresh people so that and also it it, uh, it grows the ecosystem uh, in a way right absolutely so i'll jump into the next question and i'm sure audience are very like their ears are out completely for the work because a lot of people who have graduated recently and they are very confused at what to do what not to do this is an, another career option they can pursue right now mm -hmm. so what is the current work day job market like if you could tell a little bit about Oh, the demand for workday consultants just keeps growing every year <clears throat> from the last 7 years that i see mm -hmm. there has been a steady growth uh, for uh, consultants there are abundant opportunities uh, right. both in india as well as abroad uh, for the skill i i came across an article a few months ago uh, that highlighted the talent gap in work the ecosystem so in summary what that article said was there is a 1 is to 3.5 ratio uh, for okay. for jobs in work day basically that means for every one work day consultants they have up to 3.5 job offers in the market 
so there are uh, abundance of opportunities and there is very less talent so uh, employers are finding it really difficult to find someone who already has a substantial experience in workday uh, there are many experienced workday consultants moving abroad uh, especially into the european countries i had many of my colleagues in my network um, who moved uh, to europe in the last one year specifically to countries like uh, uk netherlands germany poland finland so th the european market for workday is right now peaking i mean there there has been a lot of uh, implementations uh, new implementation fresh implementations that is going around in uh, the european countries uh, us uh, the us bull market has been like slightly stagnated a bit where you know there all the major big organizations like facebook you know google walmart they, they all went live with work and there are many other big companies and even medium small companies uh, many companies opted for uh, work day recently they went live with work day so right now i say uh, fresh implementations in us in the north america side of the it, it has decreased a little but there are a lot of opportunities for uh, supporting projects where you know the continuous enhancement continuous uh, work is being done uh, but fresh implementations are not happening as much uh, probably also due to the economy where the last two years the economy also has a uh, uh, bit took a bit of a dip uh, mm -hmm. but i would say the europe market has been like really peaking i see a lot of opportunities and people if people are getting hired from different countries i, I would say that you know because there is no in house talent in europe so so, uh, so how much experience for those countries looking for for moving uh, abroad this is for the audience take like a person who just got into work then have around one year experience suppose i'm talking about the basic uh, one, not in the two three years one year experience uh, one year i don't think for one year uh, there is a lot of i mean uh, because see when you are uh, hiring someone from not from a native from a different country uh, they would spec they are specifically hiring for a specialty skill so right. one year experience i don't think uh, one year experience will work but someone with uh, three to four years of experience uh, they do get a lot of uh, there are opportunities and people do consider i have got offers from all over the world <laughs> but i i, I consider to yes yeah <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean, um, and it's not just me. I mean, uh, many of my friends also got and uh, people uh, got offers from different uh, abroad opportunities as well. But I, I choose to stay in India uh, for uh, for other personal reasons. Uh, but then, yeah, there are a lot of jobs. Even today, uh, if I just open my LinkedIn, every week I get at least two uh, job uh, you know, offers. You know, recruiters reaching out to me. Are you interested to switch? So. Uh, specifically this year there are uh, there are abundant of uh, openings you know uh, january first week i saw open linkedin i just looked for jobs uh, i saw that uh, not because i'm looking out for a job i'm just looking at uh, you know what is the market right now um, and you get a picture out of if the scene that job is coming constantly to you you get a slight pleasure out of it good to know that uh, it's also good to know that uh, you are in demand so right. it also gives some <laughs> a sense of security you know um, you know if 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 things don't work out you know there is always uh, some place where i can still go and uh, uh, you know uh, be employed so that that's okay. a, a good uh, thing to have uh, right. but then, yeah there there are a tremendous number of opportunities in the market for anyone who has skills uh, as a workday consultant maybe after this podcast you'll get more offers i'm sure like once the podcast is released you will be like loaded with more offers right so well I, that's that's the thing i'm not i'm not looking out for change for a very long time now <laughs> all right let's move to the next question um can freshers get a job as a work day consultant yeah i mean I, I, like i told freshers do can get job uh, if they have the necessary skills uh, right. if they if they can prove that right. well um this is not specific to just work day uh, but if i'm if i'm interviewing uh, fresh graduates for work day roles at enterprise market desk where which is where i work i will focus on some of the key attributes uh, firstly i would assess uh, a general problem solving ability Uh, logical reasoning and out of the box thinking and this is why 
so these skills are crucial as a workday consultant uh, who need to comprehend how various components within the workday ecosystem interconnect and uh, and they need to understand how they need to ha- understand the logic behind that in order to devise effective solutions secondly uh, verbal and written communication skills are very important, important uh, and that would also be part of the evaluation as workday consultant often engage in client meetings with high ranking executives uh, including the chros uh, directors and senior managers the ability to effectively communicate your thoughts is very important uh, it's very important to articulate your thoughts clearly and uh, professionally so that the those interactions uh, uh, are effective uh, furthermore the consultants should have the ability to think out of the box uh, given that workday is a configurable system it cannot be customized so it's not very flexible in terms of customization whatever you can do in workday is within workday so it's a it's a configurable system and it's not uh, always that the client needs exactly what is given by workday sometimes uh, they would need a workaround solution so the person should demonstrate uh, creativity in tailoring solutions uh, much like playing you know this game tetris you know uh, you have played tetris right yeah so the consultant need to understand which configurations align seamlessly uh, to devise uh, innovative approaches uh, when they face with challenges which are not readily uh, you know configurations or requirements that are not readily available or can be done in workday they have to look for alternative approach think out of the box and uh, see if there is any any way we can uh, make workday work for you so overall i would seek uh, uh, if, if if i'm going to hire a fresher uh, mm-hmm. i would uh, seek a candidate uh, with a technical acumen but also uh, excellent communication and uh, critical thinking which is essential uh, for success in a workday consulting role right so i'll jump into the next question now so do you know any companies which are currently hiring freshers into this work day roles and uh, like you said the skills and the qualities that the person required to get a job uh what uh, what niche people from which department people or from which education background people have the most possibility to get a good job land a good job in a work day role uh, i'm not just talking about except i'm talking about the people who are in um who are studying bba or anything bba we know okay. that they have the higher chances of getting into the hr and work day role but apart from that who are eligible for it well um honestly uh, i'm not sure i mean any any graduate can get into work day actually because i have seen uh, uh, you know i have seen consultants who have a background in civil engineering in mechanical engineering uh, you know working as workday consultants uh, so i don't think uh, the, you know as long as like i said if you have those the, the skills that i just mentioned you know uh, if you are good with communication if you are uh, you can critically think critically think out of the box your logical reasoning is good those are like the prerequisites for anyone to you know uh, start learning workday because anyone can specific i mean essentially anyone can learn even if you look at um, even software engineers there are people yeah. who are uh, you know mecha- you, you have done mechanical engineering who have done aerospace engineering who are still working as software engineers so uh, yeah. learning is it's a skill it's a skill right it's yeah. skills can be learned so yeah. i don't think uh, your education background uh, affects as much uh, when if you want to no no i mean i have not seen anyone who specifically say which which are you a civil engineer okay i i cannot hire you because it it doesn't matter uh, as long as you have the skills uh, that's what's most important all right so i'll jump into the next question now um it's it's again on the basis of the skills like okay. more than the skills you said the prerequisite skills what's ex- what other skills which are required uh, as a hiring suppose you act as a hiring manager and you're hiring somebody uh, what are the steps and the what are the first few things you will check in a person apart from the prerequisites uh, apart from the education background what are the other things you check in a person to hire in a workday role i will uh, so i would like to work with 
I mean, this is again my personal choice, but and everyone have different way of evaluating people. Uh, right. For me, the number of years of experience doesn't matter. I I don't I mean I don't see someone. Uh, uh, I I will not evaluate anyone based on the number of years they have been working as a workday consultant because uh, I mean I have seen people with a lot of experience not as sharp and I have worked with some fresh candidates straight out of college uh, who, who who picked up this uh, text so fast and uh, there has been many times where I was amazed by how good they are uh, in so less time so uh, I look for people who are curious to learn people who are ready to grab opportunities you know uh, who are very excited about uh, the you know when when we talk about opportunities and and in general who are ready to be invested in the organization i mean uh, uh, they should have this entrepreneurial spirit uh, nice. as well a bit of an entrepreneurial spirit i i like people with that kind of a, 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 that kind of a thinking uh, because uh, people with a bit of an entrepreneur who have progressive thinking you know who can for, i mean who have foresight to not look at the big picture basically uh mm-hmm. not just uh so i don't want i i don't i mean i prefer working with people with that kind of a, um, a thinking uh, it's more about uh the type of person rather than just so having i mean having knowledge in workday is one thing i mean if you were, have been working for two three years you you would have gathered enough knowledge to work as a consultant but i would also focus on the type of person how how does he deal with the clients and if, if this person can because it's 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 more of a there is a lot of client interactions here so yeah. how how good of a customer service agent you are in in a way we are customer service agents right we 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 are serving the customer in in this yes. case the customer is a workday customer and you are providing technical expertise so when right. they come with when they come with problems to you you should it's not just okay they came with this problem we are just solving this particular problem you also have to think uh with uh being in client's shoes and understand uh what exactly where exactly is this problem coming from because client they don't understand workday as much as we understand as a consultant i have more understanding of workday i have worked in this uh, for many different clients i have seen many different clients you know use workday in very different ways so mm-hmm. i should be at a position or a consultant should be at a position where they can advise a customer what is the best way to go ahead yeah so not ex- i mean if they are asking for a solution which i feel that does not align with their uh their business goals in the future so not short term solutions no solutions yeah. that uh, are long term for them so someone mm-hmm. who thinks in that way that is mm-hmm. what that kind of people uh, i i love working with those kind of people and also i saw one thing um, so i didn't remember i saw one thing uh, in my previous organizations and i am new to this organization now so i saw into the previous organization and i mostly been into the customer centric roles and i've been to some a mentor had told me this one thing that um if you are faking your emotions or your empathy or your concern towards the client they catch it and they just shut themselves because <laughs> it's, it's 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 a kind of a thing that you have to be true to what you're serving uh, you have to be true to what you're offering them so that is also another thing that i solely deeply <laughs> you know inject yeah. myself Yeah. well yeah th- that's that's very much true because if you are not passionate about what you're doing and i i really love my job i i love what i do so i don't i don't get this monday blues and friday excitements as well because for me every day is a day i mean i like okay. working if if i have to also work on a weekend i don't really care because i like i get excited if there is something new that's going to happen or something mm-hmm. that i have never did i get very excited yeah. and i don't i Uh, you know i feel very curious and i start even if it's a weekend i just keep on checking what exactly and how can i make things better so right. that, that is definitely if you enjoy what you do you right. will be and that 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 curiosity and that uh, that that is contagious and the person yeah. you are working with they can feel it and right. they will be genuinely interested because i am genuinely invested in making things better for the customer and they can feel it and people would like working 
generally in clients in general would like mm-hmm. to work with those kind of people you right superb now i have come, we have come to the last question actually i don't know how the time went by with the constant yeah. uh, question so my last question is any advice for aspiring work the consultants you have uh well yeah so if you are uh, and if you if you aspire to work as a workday consultant of course you should be curious and uh, you know because workday keeps on updating itself every year and you should uh, you should keep on learning more things and start exploring you should be more of an explorer uh, yeah. don't be content uh, or just be content with whatever you learned okay i i have i have i have gained these kind of uh, this this experience and uh, it is it is giving me job and you know i'm able to uh, i'm able to uh, be employed don't okay. settle for that and keep learning more things uh, keep exploring there are a lot of things that you still don't know uh, and also keep an open mind um, uh, not just because you know i have seen people uh some people that who after a, a number of years of experience they, they become a senior they, they become a senior uh, role uh, they 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 have a pride and they they feel that you know uh they know everything and that kind of a uh, thinking would not uh, you know it, it will not take them long term i always look uh, when i when i i mean what i feel is every person has something to offer Every, mm-hmm. you can learn even from a child or even from someone who's who, who don't know any who don't know, you know some they know something which you don't know so i mm-hmm. focus on that some one thing that they don't know and i try to learn that from them i will not yeah. focus on uh, any kind of negatives you know uh, i i don't focus on negatives i just focus on okay this person knows something about this okay let's let's uh, I, let's let's ask them and i, I try to learn that from them so Uh, over a period of last eight years, uh, this is a type of uh, thinking that I, you know, uh, I developed where you know I always uh, look for look look at people and see okay uh, what are the good aspects of them and what they can learn and uh, okay what they know and something that they I can learn from them. Also, uh, I would say uh, seek mentors. Okay, not so men- mentorship is also very important. if and at both way i mean you you should also be able to mentor uh, a junior folk that's how you can build the overall ecosystem but you should also seek mentors mentors okay. can help you uh, grow exponentially and i was fortunate enough to get uh, a few mentors in my uh, during my career when i started my career during my career i i did uh, get a few uh, people who really helped me uh, okay. uh, I, i would like to name them actually uh, so i had uh, you know vinod vinod uh, uh, was uh, someone who, who helped me with sap uh, during my initial years uh, i when i joined worked as a consultant in deloitte and i was very fresh i had uh, siddhita thalli uh, her name uh, she is currently in canada she she helped me a lot uh, with the big in years and uh, i might be missing a lot of people but uh, you know some of the people that i i clearly you know noteworthy uh, i i have uh, keith uh, bitfoeger uh, from uh, from my own company emd uh, uh, i am a lot inspired by him so m- mentor you don't have to be in constant communication with the mentor you know right. you can learn from what they do so if you think that okay someone is doing something right it is working for them uh, start to see what they are doing and uh, try doing that uh, and uh, take good good points like okay there is someone who has been doing this particular uh, this particular thing and okay. um, it, it is really working for them learn okay. so you don't really have to be in constant touch like if if you read a book like you are reading a book from an author you are mm-hmm. you are learning what that person is. you are not in touch personally in touch with the author but that person right. can still be your mentor so that's why right. you, you seek mentors and role models uh mm-hmm. who can, who you think uh, are uh, doing very well you know and it's not just about it's not just about the technology part also from the leadership perspective uh, the mm-hmm. way someone uh, the way someone talks and the way someone uh, carries themselves during the conversations how they think because uh, and i have learned a lot in the, from the, from the managers that i work with uh, i learned how how they carry themselves and uh, you know 
uh, how they think basically so there should also be uh, this uh, big picture thinking you know i will i might be thinking in a way and yeah. they have they have an expanded thing because they have uh, more understanding of the overall scope of things uh, so right. how to think in that shoes you know how to start thinking from that point of view yeah. uh, so that really helps for me so i would see i think we diverged a bit from the topic uh, from uh, okay. uh, but, but but i would i want to ask I, you a couple of questions from my side that uh, uh, what is the hierarchy of the work day like starting from the if you could tell me the hierarchy you know and it depends i mean uh, i don't i don't know if there is a specific hierarchy but um if somebody joins as an analyst they become a consultant uh, then they become senior consultant they become a manager uh, i mean this is a typical hierarchy in all organizations and some are right. so some organizations have a very flat hierarchy uh, i mean yeah. uh, in my organization we do have a kind of a flat hierarchy like we don't have someone who we are actively reporting to we all work as a team it depends right. from company to company so uh, i don't really focus i mean uh, i don't think the hierarchy is that important uh, what no, is important I ask is this question cuz uh, a lot of uh, you know maybe hierarchy is a lot not an important thing for people like who have, have working experience like 8 years of working experience as you and so i'm thinking that everybody has this mindset i don't know i have interviewed people i'm talking to people on daily basis so they have a mindset that i want to reach somewhere there i want to reach somewhere there so that's why for the audience out there for the viewers out there that's why i want to know the ladder the ladder wow. is sometimes the- uh, you know they can target that the ladder that, that's from a corporate perspective so yeah. if you're working for a corporate where there is a, a pro, so it depends from corporate to corporate what the hierarchy right. is okay you might be in a in a it's it's all business titles in, in at the end of the day i i don't uh, i have reached a point where for me the the title doesn't matter i mean uh, as far as uh, personally if you if you give me a title of Uh, just uh, uh, janitor and give me good work i uh, for me it's it's fine i mean uh, not like that janitor is not a, <laughs> a respectable job i'm just saying i mean uh, for me title doesn't matter it's all about are you are you happy with the work that you do are you are you feeling challenged uh, intellectually challenged in the work that you do that is what i focus on so wherever i work these are these are some of the questions uh, that i ask myself uh, to evaluate that if this particular role that i'm working out is working for me or not as long as it is intellectually challenging as long as it is exciting uh, the the title or the hierarchy doesn't matter but for people who want to know about the title uh, for a typical organization it will be analyst consultant senior consultant manager senior manager director partner thank you thank you bye thank you so much bye, take Rupa. care thank you very much bye bye thank you.